Hey everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. So as you guys can see, if you guys saw my last video, I'm currently in Athens, Greece. It is currently Saturday, the 15th of May, and I just got here like Wednesday afternoon. Um, so I didn't really vlog the first couple of days because I was basically really jet lagged. Although we did get to go to the beach and have a nice dinner on our first full day here. And then yesterday I got some weird food poisoning from the pasta I made at lunchtime. So not much has happened. I thought that I would take you guys along like a really chill day or weekend in my life here. I am going to be here for about three months. Christian just made some bomb smoothie. I think this is like a berry smoothie that he made. So the apartment's kind of messy at the moment, but this is the current overview of the place. Just like super cute, a lot of blue decorations which i love super adorable kitchen over here it's been a pretty weird and like surreal time i don't really feel like i'm here because i haven't seen like the very touristy places yet i've just been like, in the residential area so i'm really excited to go to syntagma square today do some little shopping for like house stuff so i'm just gonna finish my smoothie and we'll hit the road after recovering from jet lag, I was excited to finally revisit the city center after my first trip to Athens in 2019. Our first stop was to the Panathenaic Stadium, or as the locals call it, Gallimarmaro, meaning made of marble. Today, the over 2,000 year old marble stadium now hosts the Athens Marathon every year in November. People going for their morning workout, tourists, and Greek cats who just want to chill out. Look at them. So we were just at the stadium and now we are headed to Syntagma to do some errands but we're gonna walk by the Propolis first to do a nice scenic stroll. We then decided to walk through Blaka, the oldest neighborhood in Athens close to the Acropolis. I would say that it's probably the nicest looking neighborhood in Athens with its pastel colored walls and flowers that drape over the buildings. Most of the restaurants here are typical tourist places, but there are some really nice cafes, jewelry stores, and shops. Continuing on our way to run our errands, Christian got distracted by a cool clothing store in Monasteraki. While the Monasteraki flea market is full of tourist shops, this store called Route 67 had some really amazing cotton and linen pieces by a local designer who we met. We did some damage. About an hour in and still no actual errands accomplished, we finally stumbled upon this hidden yoga store that Christian remembered seeing on Google Maps. I made a list of things that we needed to get that day and soon enough, we were walking around with bags of stuff that made us look like we had just moved into a new place. Which in my case, I kinda was. So we are back at the flat and I figured that I'd show you guys a haul of everything that we got today. We got a lot of stuff. It was a pretty successful trip. The only thing that we didn't get were things that we actually needed like a desk and a, another chair but we did get some other things. We actually did end up getting some clothes from the first boutique and they had like the cutest clothes. Christian did some damage there. I just got a like really cute sage green t-shirt. Show them. Turn on the light. No, because then it's oh, is that better? Yeah, a lot better. And then I also got these white kind of linen trousers that you guys saw in the clip. Excited to wear these in the summer. And then the next store that we went to was this yoga store. And I got this foam ruler that I actually need for my back to like stretch it out you know and christian got this nice yoga mat to work out on because we don't have a yoga mat i also got this vegan protein powder which is something that i've been needing it's called skinny protein it's a green protein mix with pea protein hemp protein moringa spirulina and alfalfa i don't know but this was actually quite expensive oh my god it because i was afraid that i wouldn't be able to find it somewhere else but this was 38 euros so like 44 dollars and i kind of regret buying this because 
we found some alternatives um, later at a bio store that I'll show you guys in a second. So I didn't bring any slides or slippers to Greece because I was planning on just getting some Birkenstocks here and I got these black like plain ones. I don't know what these are called. Um, but yeah, I think these are the leather ones. Pretty nice. I feel like I'm gonna live in them this summer because I've just been wearing sneakers for the past couple of days. Okay, the last thing that we got at the yoga store is this a workout ball. Christian bought it. I think he's planning on like doing some workouts on it and sitting on it and stuff. All right, so the next store we went to was called Flying Tiger. Yeah, this was basically a Denmark store, I think, that sold just everything and random things. We got some hangers there. They were each one euro, but these were like really nice thin ones because Christian has like five hangers in his closet because he's weird. And then we also got some woven baskets to put toiletries in. In the bathroom, we got three of those. Got a little soap tray. And then I also got a glue stick because I forgot to bring one to glue things into my journal. I got this cuticle clipper, mini tea infuser. And then I got some tape there. Christian and I also needed some beach towels. So we went into this Greek store that stole some cotton towels. So we got two of these just plain beach towels because we don't have any and we're gonna go to the beach tomorrow so yeah this is gonna be a nice replacement um from using like bath towels and finally the last store that we went to was a bio store called four seasons and christian got this super vegan protein powder and this was so much cheaper and it's vegan um, so I kind of wish that I got this. I think this was 19 euros and the one that I got was like 38 euros. So yeah, it's nice to know that the bio store has some vegan protein that you can pick up. We got some matcha, some jasmine rice, curry powder for vegetables, some miso paste. I've never tried this barley miso before, so I'm excited to see what this tastes like. Christian also picked up some bio vegetable spread got some organic coconut milk that we can use for the curry and then last but not least we got some pesto and like two things of tofu and that is basically all of the damage that we did today on our errands it was kind of obnoxious to be carrying this foam roller around the city center but i'm glad we made it back i'm so tired After Christian heard an Olivia Rodrigo song for the first time at the Pool and Bear earlier that day, I got him hooked onto some female teenage breakup songs. While we jammed to that, I made us some salmon potato chowder with the produce that we just got. I'm very grateful for little moments like these with fresh food on the table and good company. Christian has a really cute little balcony at his flat, so we decided to eat our warm dinner outside while listening to the sound of the city at night. Oh, that's cute. How's it? Good morning everyone. It is Sunday today and today I'm excited because we're gonna go to the beach again but a further one and a supposedly nicer one that I have not been to yet. Christian's friend is about to pick us up and he has a dog so I'm really excited to see the dog because I'm still suffering from slight withdrawals from leaving. Bruno, my brother's dog, at home. Today, unlike yesterday, is a very sunny day, so I'm really excited to have another beach adventure. Yesterday, I just made some really good salmon chowder, and then we basically just slept because we were so tired from running errands all day. I'm gonna grab my visor. Let's head to the beach. That morning, we got picked up by Christian's friend for a beach day up north in Porto Germeno. About an hour drive from Athens by the Corinthian Bay, we were ready to seek out some nature and fresh air after being in the polluted city.
ocean never ceases to make me feel at peace. Soaking into the salty turquoise waves instantly made me feel refreshed and rejuvenated. <laughs> After a fresh water rinse, we left the beach feeling so much better than we did before we arrived. We then ended our day with a nice dinner by the beach. Just got back from the beach a couple hours ago. I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty chill weekend in my life in Athens. I am so tired. We spent like all day at the beach. Christian got a pretty bad sunburn. I feel pretty refreshed. I have to say that it's pretty nice having some beach time after being deprived of it for a long time in Seattle. If you guys did like the video and want to see more content, then make sure to click the subscribe button if you guys haven't already, as well as the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, click the like button and a comment. That really helps me out with the algorithm. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video with some more Athens and Greece content. Bye!